Welcome to another video. This is Rohis Retro 81, and uh, I thought what we'd do as um, well, j just as a kind of <laughs> just as a thanks for watching, kind of for, for uh, gold pain aside from anything else. Uh, when I did the video response, uh, Gold was quite interested in Momodora, so I thought I'd, um, as I'd kind of remembered more of how to play Momodora. Uh, from just shooting some quick quick footage of it I thought I'd uh, quickly put some footage together of Momodora uh, properly rather than having a sort of quick four minute wham bam thank you thank you ma'am kind of situation with it um, and I realized when I was watching that footage back that I skipped a very important uh, piece of the gameplay and the controls that I'm still for some reason because I'm daft not actually using but uh, quite importantly Momodora has a dodge feature and uh, while it immediately looks like a Castlevania game it's also somewhat influenced by Dark Souls um, thankfully not really in terms of uh, in terms of the game's difficulty but we'll see at least if we can't get to the uh, next uh, get to the next save point at least that would be uh, something uh, just wait for that have some of that Ugh. It literally timed that as badly as I possibly could. Oh well, never mind. Uh, Turn round! I'm using the keys, which maybe isn't the, 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 the brightest thing, but... Um, Sometimes having a lot of stuff plugged into the top of my computer results in whoa, I forgot that one all the way down. Um, results in the mic getting messed up a bit. Okay. Well, we're not going to be getting our uh, butts wrecked by those guys quite so badly this time. Go and get this extra health. Bizarre. I mean, we're a long way away from the situation where it's going to be something I really have to say. Stop that! That is so annoying. I suppose at least I can kill those without having to dodge them. There's a real, like, she doesn't want to turn around. Thing going on there for sure. So one of the nice things about this game is it has a double jump from from the start. Ooh. Oh, I'm poisoned anyway. Thank you for that. Oh, I could have bounced on that, couldn't I? Yep, that would have... Trust me to make things harder than they ought to be. So, when... A lot like um, the DS Castlevania games. Um, and uh, Symphony of the Night. Um, when you save, it replenishes your health. Which is very handy. Uh, but yeah, what I was going to say is we're a long way away from um, the point where I'm going to need to think about this. But uh, I do need to think about... I quite enjoy doing... Oh man, that, that is rubbish. That poison thing is really annoying. Um, I don't know whether it's just because I haven't played this in a while, but one... Oh. 
one thing I am noticing about this versus the last time I played it is that there's a lot of um, just run just run That's not very nice, is it? There's quite a lot of... Um... Risk with reward isn't the right way of putting it. There's quite a lot of, if you don't time your attacks absolutely perfectly, you get hit in this. And uh, one thing I will say about this from a difficulty standpoint is uh, you take a lot of damage. And I can't remember, but I don't think you really level up as fat as... Oh man, that, that poison is ridiculous because you can't really tell where the clouds... Thankfully, I'm not webcamming because I, I did just give the, I just gave the screen the finger because I get sick of uh, getting poisoned by stuff I can't avoid. How am I supposed to deal with this then? Alternate title for this video: Tom moans about game that. Tom moans about a game that he's not very good at because he hasn't played for ages. Uh, I did think that logically it might be plausible that I could get to the first boss, but I don't know if that's going to happen. There's a fair bit of what I would say is, uh, let's say, uh, NES style enemy positioning. Um, you've got that kind of. Oh. Oh, well, we've got the first boss. It is quite difficult with the poison clouds though, uh, it's quite difficult to tell when, they, uh, when they've actually gone away, because there's a, whoa, oof, there's a point where the poison doesn't count as poison anymore. There we go, that's the first boss sorted anyway. And uh, if the game's gonna let me do anything, yep, um, we'll call it a day there. I think if there's a save point over here. Oh, hello, mate. What are you doing? Stay away from me. You've got COVID. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go and have a shower after this uh, save point now. Maybe burn my clothes. Alrighty. And this makes up quite a large bulk of the game, this cityscape. And we'll save there. And I'll call it a day for now, but I just, just thought as uh, as Gull was interested and uh, as it's also a good game that I've got I've got a lot of a lot of uh, love for even though the poison thing is a bit awkward Aside from anything else. I don't think there's I'm probably 
going to get screamed at, but I, I can't remember how you actually deal with the poison. Anyway, peace out. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I hope you're all well. And goodbye.